the biggest strategic challenge that we have is the stigma that people still attach to the ex-combatants and that's difficult not just for getting jobs but also for reintegrating socially uh, in, into their neighborhoods or into their communities because people tend to reject ex-combatants for simply being ex-combatants. That happens a lot in the private sector as well and, and I don't say it, you know, throwing blame on the private sector. I think it's also perfectly logical because if you think about it, the private sector was victimized by illegal armed groups. It's private sector company owners who have been kidnapped, companies that have been extorted, companies that have suffered terrorism if they don't pay extortions. So I think it's normal that people be reluctant to take that step. But uh, you know, that's something that we that we're working that we're trying to uh, change by working with different private sector companies and different <coughs> trade guilds, trying to get people to uh, better understand the process. But it's, it, it's very lengthy. We've been doing this now for 10 years. And, and still, the, the reluctance to give ex-combatants a, a chance is still very high. However, the, as you said, you know, of 32,000 people that are in the program today, uh, we have a, an estimated employment rate of around 72%, which is not that bad at all. But the fact of the matter is that most of those people are working without their bosses or their co-workers knowing that they're ex-combatants. So unfortunately, what ends up happening is that when they're discovered, quote unquote, they lose their jobs. And that's, uh, we, we receive on average three complaints daily at our call center, just our call center, from ex-combatants who have lost their jobs because they've been discovered, so to say, so to speak. Uh, for, as being uh, ex-combatants. So, um, so I think that, uh, again, that's the greatest challenge that we have, but it's not just the private sector, it's, it's Colombia in general. That, that we, need, we need to find ways to change the image.